Neighborhood stores that sell us everything from salt to soaps are increasingly partnering with Reliance Industries Geomart to procure daily essentials. While orders placed through the Geomart Partner app are delivered quicker than the traditional distributors, shop owners are mainly attracted to its discounts, which sometimes go as deep as 20 to 25 percent. With his deep pockets, Mukesh Ambani is bringing his tested blueprint of offering heavy discounts to change the retail distribution landscape in India. Reliance wants to serve India's 13 million Kirana stores that account for 80% of the country's $900 billion retail market. Reliance's aggressive entry into telecom led to a consolidation in the sector. But the company's strategy to replicate this in B2B retail has already started to face opposition from traditional distributors who have been servicing every nook and corner of the country for several decades now. Reliance has created antagonists out of lakhs of salesmen in the traditional trade who are struggling to match prices offered by Geomart. The opposition is being led by the All India Consumer Products Distributors Federation or the AIC PDF. It represents 4.5 lakh distributors who serve about 5 million Kirana stores on behalf of FMCG giants like HUL, Reket, Nestle and Colgate Palmolive. The organization has approached FMCG companies demanding a level playing field saying traditional distributors must get products at the same prices as modern ones like Geomart, Udan and Metro Cash and Carry. To understand their main concerns, we spoke with Federation's President Dhairashil Patil. The rates going to the retailer decided by the company because the billing is done on the company software. The schemes going to the retailer are decided by the company. So we don't have any say in that. The discounts which has to be offered an individual distributor are, are governed by the uh, company itself. Average margin for the distributor is from 3.5% to 5%. So now the issue is that same set of product with same set of MRP are being uh, delivered by an other channel that is called EB2B channel. Wherein companies like Udan, Geomart, are selling same set of product with a price lower than the distributor is delivering. So it is creating a confusion in the market that the distributors are, are been earning such so much amount of money since last so many years. The distributor, the, the rates which are offered by these new companies are lower than the landing price of the distributor. And that is lowered by 10 to 15%. So this is creating a rift. So our point of concern is that this is a new era where in all the shortest route to monopoly, monopol, monopolize the market is giving discounts. Here, what is happening now, the trade has been disturbed. We demand a price parity in the market. And if the distribution system, which is there since last 60 years, is going to go out of business, then who will supply? Then this entire retail chain will be left at the mercy of this uh, so-called uh, EB2B or modern. See, this depends upon the companies. Ultimately, we are working for the FMCG companies. And the F if the FMCG companies want to uh, give away their freedom of uh, selling their goods at their will, then it is up to the companies. Because uh, ultimately, if the viability of the distributor does not work out, the distributor cannot do a business. It is not clear if FMCG companies are offering goods to likes of Geomart at differential rates, but Dhirashil Patil believes that the discounts are a function of intense cash burn by modern B2B companies. Last year, Reliance Retail raised $6.4 billion from outside investors. FMCG firms are being questioned as to why the same flexibility is not being given to their existing authorized channel partners. If its demand for price parity is not met, AICPDF said its members will stop supplying products that are being carried by Geomart and others. Not just this, they have vowed to not support FMCG companies with their new launches after January 1st. The traditional distributor base is essential for new launches as they take the risk of testing the waters for the product. On their part, 
FMCG companies are engaging in dialogues with their distributors as upsetting them may not be the best way forward. Even as Reliance pushes its own private label brands to neighborhood shops using Geomart, it largely remains an intermediary for consumer goods companies in the B2B space. Therefore, unlike in the case of Geo, where Reliance was free to set its own rates, here the pricing power is decided by the likes of HUL and Nestle. Whether or not Reliance can disrupt the B2B grocery space rests on the shoulder of FMCG giants in the face of opposition from the vast traditional distributor community, whose livelihoods are now being threatened by Geomart. If you like this video, share it and subscribe to Business Standard. For more news, views and insights, log on to www.business-standard.com. Do also follow us on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Telegram and LinkedIn.